Today I thought I'd do a quick video on four ways to remove spot welds. The reason for knowing different methods is that sometimes a weld might be difficult to get at with one way, but simple to get to with another. One of the most common ways is to simply drill them out. Start with an eighth inch bit and move to a bit that's just a little bit bigger than the weld. And that's good enough. We don't want to go all the way through. The next method is to use a premium spot weld cutter from Blair, and this is kit number 11096. On this one, so the cutter doesn't walk around on you, you can start with a pilot hole that's a little bigger and matches the cutter bit. And we're only going to go through the first layer of sheet metal. And that's good enough. Sometimes you'll have to get into some tight spots, and in this case, the drill won't work because it's on an angle. So we can use a belt sander or a die grinder. After cutting the panel and removing all the spot welds with whatever method works best for the situation, it can be removed with a chisel bit like this.
You can get away with just the drill bits and the die grinder. They're fast, inexpensive, and you can always sharpen the drill bit. The main advantage of the Blair Spot Weld Remover is that it cuts flat as opposed to the taper on a drill bit, and I do think you could find a way to sharpen those bits. Finally, the belt sander is nice because it can reach some hard to get at welds, but the sanding belt does have to be replaced about every four to five welds. I hope you enjoyed this video on some ways to remove spot welds in easy or difficult areas and separating the panel from the vehicle. If you did and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.